So I wanted to share with you a tool that we use quite a lot here at Edge NLP in our courses, but also in our coaching practice. It's called the Wheel of Life. So what is the Wheel of Life? Well, in essence, it's a helicopter view of you being able to see all the different elements and areas that make up your life. And then it's a bit of a deep dive to really get into the nitty gritty of those areas, to think about what time and energy you might give to them. So I'm gonna talk you through this process to help you really identify the areas in your world that you would like to maybe shift and change, maybe make an action plan around or even a goal setting exercise. So this in essence can lead on to many other activities. So this is where we start. This is our wheel of life. So it's a wheel funnily enough, and it's broken down into sections from 10 to zero. And as you can see, there's empty spaces here for you to put in your areas. Now, this really is up to you. I'm going to give you some examples, but this is for you to really sit and think about what areas of your world will fit into this wheel of life. So here we have the wheel of life. Now let me show you the next step. You're then going to choose the areas. So, for example, the areas I've chosen are partner, career, health, fitness, friends, family, spirituality, and children. So we've got eight areas there. If you're struggling with eight, make it six. You don't need to fill it in just because you think you need to. Find those areas that are important to you. Some other ideas might be relationships. Um, I've got spirituality, but for you it might be religion. Finances or money might be one area that you want to really look at. So once you've identified those areas, what you're then going to do, the next step, is to sit down quietly and this again is one of those unfiltered intuitive things where you're going to mark on your wheel of life the time and the energy that you give to those areas now this can be positive or negative okay but do it instinctively don't spend too much time getting into the conscious and the rational and, and really trying to work out logically where your time and energy sits. So then what you will create is something a little bit like this. Nice little shape to it. Where you're going to mark on your wheel of life where your time and energy sits in these different areas. And you might find that there are maybe two or three, maybe more areas where actually you're thinking, mm, I don't give enough time or energy. Or on the flip side of that, you might have a number 10 and you think, gosh, all of my time and energy is going into that area, which again, might not serve you. So that's the next thing you're going to do. Then once you've done this, I want you to think about which of those areas are either taking all of your time and energy and it's not a positive or what area or areas isn't taking enough of your time or energy so for example we'll go with the example i've gone with here so i've gone with career career for me is only a two um this is only an example is a two so then i'd go okay so i'm gonna deep dive i'm gonna get underneath what's going on for me when it comes to career so then you break it down even further so what elements make up career for me so i've got money enjoyment time progression development collaboration happiness reward or recognition and then i've done exactly the same thing now again, this is an example. This isn't a real life for my own career. This is just showing you how this wheel of life works. 
So can you see, once again, I've taken some time to sit down and really instinctively look at where my time and energy is in those elements that make up, for me, career. You may have completely different words. You may not have eight words. And then from here, this is where it, it really starts to build. This is then your opportunity to really start thinking about how you can move from where you are now, so your present state, to your desired state. So that might be that you want to look at an action plan. What's going to help you shift and change some of those? So for example, I've got on here that reward and recognition is a number two. So what needs to happen in order for me to feel as though the time and energy is balanced for reward or recognition? So again, that might be a list of things that you can do. It might just be a to-do list. It might be a proper action plan, or it might even be a, a, a goal setting exercise with a time frame. So it might be that you break it down into 30 days. It might be 90 days. It might be a 12 month goal working around this area of your world. So there we have it. That is the tool called the Wheel of Life, taking a helicopter view of your life and really looking at what areas you can shift and change if you choose.